I'm good to go. Hello, everybody. This is the beer we're going to drink. It's the Jim and Dave beer, beer review. review. How about you wait till I sit down next time? Anyway? I'm sorry. I didn't mess up that. Up there. Uh, that's all right. We'll just move it right along. Mosey so, on. Dave, what's on tap for this beer review? We have, well, my, there we go. Um, we have some um, some Fort Collins. Fort Collins, that's new. Um, we have some Fort Toss. Collins uh, chocolate stout. Chocolate stout, alrighty then, let's see here. It says, a velvety smooth mouthfeel and an impeccable flavor make this stout positively seductive. Subtle hot bitterness evens out the character of roasted barley and chocolate malt in our proven classic. That's almost what it says here, but with a couple more words added. Right, oh look, there's a hot chick on there. Is that sexist, Dave? No, it's a hot chick. She, she's hot? Well, I think it's supposed to be. It's She's kind of, it's a very weird illustration. She's smooth. Right, she's... When I look at this chocolate. picture, I think of the mountains. The mountains? Because there's a mountain in the background. Oh, that yeah. are mountains, the majestic mountains. <laughs> her majestic mountains. I think you're more interested in her purple mountains, Majesty. Yeah, I am. I don't know what um, that means. Okay, the stats. Here's the stats. <laughs> Let's hear it. The ABV is 5.3. Me, 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 me. It's okay. What are you doing? Is that the, the thing from uh, from the Muppets? Me, 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 me. me. No, let's not do that. IBUs are 33. Okay, it's not bad. SRMs are 43. Pretty dark, huh? Availability is year-round. Packaging is six packs and drafts. Um, they have an event at the Grill Event Supermarket Liquors on August 29th. Well, hot damn! Let's head over there. And the Brewery Yoga. Brewery Yoga. On August 30th. Um, what is up with that? Okay. All right. Let's stick to the BR. They're in Colorado, by the way. All right. So... Coors neighbor then? Oh god, no Coors. Back in the day I drank Coors. Never I mean, again. I remember drinking Coors Light thinking, oh, it's so light. Never again. Well, that's very dark. That is opaque, that is black. Not much of a head on it, except unless you pour it like that. It went a little too heavy on the head. Oh, that's all right, let's see. Let me, let's see if there's a sniffing difference. Let me see here. <laughs> Did you not do that on camera? <laughs> okay. Uh, one more, one more thing for me. Edit out. No, you do it all dainty. I'd be like, <laughs> I poop. Disgusting. <laughs> well, at least that would make for an interesting beer review for a change. Chocolatey notes, roasted. Oh, notes. very chocolatey, very dark. Is this dark? This is dark. It's dark. This is darker than uh, a eclipse, eclipse in the middle of the evening. That made no sense. There is those, you know. Oh, I'm sure it happens. You ever go outside at like three in the morning, you can see the, the space shuttle fly by. Uh, yeah. I'm sure I could if I was wearing my glasses, but I see it like every. I thought two the space weeks. shuttle was grounded. Every space, every two weeks, they fly right by my work. You see it fly right over. Space station. Yep. Okay. Maybe. A little different than the space shuttle. And uh, that's what I said. Space station. Space shuttle station thing. <laughs> But the space shuttle it's, it's attached up to, there. <laughs> it go by fast. <laughs> it's attached to the space station. Watch! The space shuttle is attached to the space station. So when the space station's moving, you can see the space shuttle. Ah -ha! How about that one now? Hey, yeah, I'm going to answer that There have that been one. no working space shuttles for the last 10, 20 years. Yes, there has been. How do you think they get up there? Rockets. Uh, they have the people who get up there rockets and they get the space shuttles. Yes, they do. Don't tell me, mister. I know. I was talking to Obama. Space shuttle's been grounded. They're, They're all, all out of here. service. They're all too old. They use the Soyuz capsules from Russia. Soyuz is. Who's that? I go to space.com to get my information. <laughs> I go to NASA, okay? So I'm looking. Who do you think runs space.com? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> NASA. You're being an assa. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. It might as well be me. Where were we? Oh, yes. Ready to try hey, wait, out. beer review. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Let's talk more about space shuttles. <laughs> You're drinking beer. Cheers. Cheers. And now there we go. Oh, yeah. Much better than the last one. Dave wasn't too happy. We were doing a lot of IPAs last week, and we weren't necessarily happy with the quality. <laughs> Jim, I was gonna say something. Jim and Dave, beer review, <laughs> space shuttle. 
It's working. <laughs> I've only had one beer so far. Well, yeah. maybe two because... Nothing. <laughs> because I'm going to open my mouth up to you, our viewer. Get out of here. Okay. I try to have a good time, you know? Oh, yeah. It's a wonderful All time. week long, I'm twirling over that computer, and now I'm twirling over my beer. I'd rather twirl over my beer. You're toileting. What? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like anyway, it. Dave, thoughts on the flavors? What kind of notes do you detect? Chocolate, roastiness, a little bit of tiny smidge of vanilla, some uh, some uh, burnt flavor, some uh, oh, I don't know what the other one is. Vanilla, it's like vanilla extract. That's mm. what it is. Yeah, it does have a smoky it's character. It's a bit of a strong. It's only five point five, right? Something like that. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's, it's good. I like it. It's smooth. It's got a good mouth feel. It goes down easy. Um, it's not too tingly, and uh, two I, thumbs I, up from Dave. I agree with all your flavoristic characteristics that you just uh, spoke about. Yes, flavoristic expectations. Expialidocious or something. Mm. Yeah, not too bad. I would buy this beer. You did buy this beer. This yeah. is the beer you bought for the taste swap. Well, I know, but uh, this. I mean, That's a good choice. Yeah. Do I well, have any of these well, yet? No, no. I think we still got two more in the case too. So. All righty then. Yeah, maybe three. Yeah, we had get five, so we the first time we had two, three, five, there you go, three left. Math. Math is a good thing. <laughs> we went to grade school and passed. Mm. The first no, time. you just put me through. It's interesting, there was there was a person that put in our lecture this week, and uh, he, said, he said, are you Dave Kessler? And I said, yes, I am. He said, I went to school with you. Really? His name was Tom Drakeford, a good electrician guy. He helped us out. I'm giving him a little plug. But he recognized me from like 30 years ago. Well, you look exactly up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I was trying to do that with a straight 100 face. 100 pounds extra to me, but you know, yeah. I'm still looking to say. I still, I'm like, I'm remembered. You, you have a very distinctive I nose. am the oldest graduating senior in Norristown Area High School history. Your mom's so yeah. proud, I'm sure. Yes. Oldest, I could have bought beer the next couple of months after that. Oh, you heard me burp just then? Yep. What? What? Did you just hear me burp just now? Oh, what did you go to? Mm. Yes, I did it daintily. What is this? What is this? Like, uh, like Austin Powers? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was to do beer reviews out here? It's, I am sweating. It's comfortable out here. Oh, it's getting hot. It's I, getting hot now. I, it is, but before it was nice. The beer. Yeah, because we were drinking beer, so now we're getting hot. Yes. How does that work? Are we supposed to cool off when we're drinking beer? No. Now we're getting all excited about doing a beer review. <laughs> <laughs> beer. Choo -choo. Ding, ding, ding. Talk, talk, talk. Be funny. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> but we love it. And we love you. We our can viewers. do our next review upstairs. But nah, not that. We only got two more to go. Yeah, two more to go. Let's just get we're going to cook on the grill. Exactly. Cook on the grill. We're going to throw some shrimp I on the Malibu put barbie. My bratwurst and my knotwurst on the grill. Put some sauce on there and cook it up. So Dave, give us a number. Eight. Eight is, it seems fair. Yes. But I think I'm going to give it 7.75. Because it just seems a little, it could use a little more alcohol. It's very, it feels like I want it a little more oomph. Yes. It could be about a seven, I would think. It'd be, if, if it was like a seven ABV, it'd be more of a better beer. Yeah, yeah. Put a little more alcohol into this, people. People want alcohol. But it's drinkable. I would buy it. I would buy a case of it. I did buy a case of it. I buy sex. I, I like it. Too. I'd buy this beer. How much was this a case? Uh, actually, probably 50 ish. That's a little more expensive. Yeah, it's a little expensive, more. as I recall. I mean, even Shogunators, which is good. I went to all Shogunators kick off, so I got Shogunators on the edge. I got Shogunators upstairs. Cool. We're going to have Shogunators later. Absolutely. But. That's only forty dollars a case. So there you have it. It's a very good uh, drinkable stout. If um, if you like stouts, I think you're really gonna like this one. They did a good job. I'd like to try other offerings from Fort Collins. So we shall see. Yes. Fort so Collins. there you have it. You made a good beer. Good label. Like the girl. Why well, only have a face? Yeah, I don't know why. It's so you got some big face. pouty lips. Is this Angelique Jolie? Who knows who that is? Got some big lips. Uh, well, Dave, you know, according to the Surgeon General, mm -hmm. women should not drink alcohol beverages due to the risk of birth defects. And consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery and may cause health problems. <laughs> Please don't drink if you're under 21. And if you are going to drink, drink responsibly. Please.
do it over at your house or someplace where drive. you don't have to drive. After these beer reviews, I'm probably going to uh, mellow out for a little bit because I'll have course. to drive home later. Of course. And we do thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. We would also invite you to follow us on Twitter. I am at Jim Rett. It's J-I-M-M-R-E-T. Dave is at... I am at Call31. Is that one or two L's? Two L's. Good deal. Call as in the... Because we uh, post uh, beer stuff there as well as uh, cats. Yes, cats are uh, cool. How many pictures of your cats have you put on to uh, your Twitter? Twitter? What's the one you put on there? Just that? Oh, I see. One. You got to... Take a picture of your cat once a day and do a hashtag. Cat. That'd be a good idea, you know, but, you know, I usually let them, like, doing other things. And yeah, yeah, I know. Just take a second. I love my cats more than anybody It's knows. a creative exercise to come up with but a funny caption. But that's a good too. idea because, you know what, once Jim put oh. that thing on, on, on Twitter, I got about five people that followed me. So if I think I put one on a day, I get five people a day. And soon you'll have at least five people. I've got, like, 40 people that are following me now. You're the man. How many you got now? Like a thousand? No, no, no. 600 something. Wow, Jesus Christ, man. 600 people following. Including Brandon Frazier. Brandon Frazier's following. Well, You're an awesome dude, Brandon Frazier. No, actually, I, you in the I don't think he's following me. I think he just favorites my tweets when I'm playing hashtag games. And he was cool in that movie where he went back into the past. He actually treats tweets really well. He's a good guy. Yeah. I like him anyway. Why hasn't he been in any movies? Because he doesn't have to work if he doesn't want to. He's worth like 50 mil. No, I, work he, when you want to he, work. No, he tweeted out. He's like, I need to work. Something like that. Well, maybe he wants to work. Also. If you do that, if you look, you can look up online. You can look up people. You can what say, was last What movie? is somebody worth? Uh, uh, some kind of animal Do you movie. think he's not so young anymore? Do you think it's he's our age? Oh, well. No wonder he's not getting anywhere. <laughs> Hopefully he's better than us. He looks good in his uh, AVI picture, though. He, he did um, uh, were, uh, uh, some kind of animal movie or something. Oh, like good for five, him. Three, three years ago or something like that. Nice. But he's got money at the wazoo. He don't need to work. He can just do what he wants. I never have I mean, acting-wise. I mean, who knows what he does on his own time. Well, I Where was... he's like, you know, he could be a guy. He could be a furniture business guy. He could be working in the shoe sale department he could do whatever that's he what he would do. want to do he'd want to move up to the al bundy level of uh, life <laughs> but he could own, own a shoe shop absolutely then yeah. you can hire people to sell shoes all right i'm gonna look at that's when you're living wait, wait, i want to look up now i want to look up. all right well listen oh, the reason we do this not, nonsense no, and talk no, about no, brandon no, frazier no, no. is because we want you to drink great beers and no well, we're not we're not having a laugh or two with your friends we're, not yet. we're finished we're not finished yet We'll talk about Brandon Frazier in the next one. And it won't be too gay at all. No, it's not gay. Say goodbye, Dave. Uh, hold on, people. We're not leaving me yet. Bye-bye. Bye, Dave.